CEO of my part, really, for honoring me with this beautiful award. I personally, myself, didn't know I would make it on, on this cover. So it's really, it's, uh, I, I give all the glory back to God. Um, personally, for me, I'm a Christian, just so you know. Um, I was raised in a Christian family. My mother introduced me to God at a very, very early age. So whenever something good happens to me, whatever I have achieved in my, in my leadership career, I give all the glory back to God. Because uh, without God, I wouldn't even be here. So I thank God for that. Um, I'd like to thank all the wonderful, brilliant-minded uh, Africans that are here today. And um, this is just one of the things that we need to do more often, we as Africans. Wherever we are, wherever, whatever part of the world we're in, whether it be it in Europe, the Americas, or even Africa, we need to come together. We need to have more of these gatherings to come together and solve African issues, we as Africans, because the only issues, the only people who can understand Africa's issues are us Africans. Yeah. And as a cultural leader, uh, for me, my work is to instill more cultural values in my people back home in Uganda, specifically in Toro Kingdom. But as a cultural leader, I stand for culture. And all of us that are here, we come from different cultural backgrounds, different African cultural backgrounds. So I want to really emphasize and encourage you all as you go back to wherever you, you are, instill those African morals those African um, morals into our people wherever you've left them back home. Because if we go by other people's cultures, we we'll never learn. We can only learn from our own cultural values because our cultural values have such rich heritage that I believe no other people in this world can ever have. So we are gifted, we as Africans. Whether if you haven't visited your motherland in a long, long time, you have the opportunity to go back and learn more. Personally, for me as a cultural leader, I also learn more every day in my own capacity as a king. Because in life, you keep continuing to learn more and more and more. You cannot say that you've learned everything in the space of 20 years or 30 years. Life itself is a learning curve. So I want to thank all of you here today for welcoming me here and giving me this award. May God bless you all. And indeed, in our culture, they say that the king doesn't speak much. He gives a vote of thanks. But I decided to make my speech a little bit longer because you're meeting me for the first time. But I thank you all and may God bless you. Thank you so much.